Good morning, everybody. This is Daniel White in Denver, and Dr. Kurt Fisnick is with us today. Is is he? You know, he just he's that guy, and uh, he's a resident doctor for all of us at Sizzle Business Partners, and, and has been a go-to um, doc for so many people on so many different subjects. I mean, all the way from crazy ones. You're like, I can't believe they just asked that. Doc, we may do a call, and just in the call might be sometime just over the simple fact of. What's all the crazy questions you've ever you've ever received from business partners and and people? Because it's amazing what people will ask you. Well, today we we're, we're into a topic that I that I hope you'll be able to see what Doc's talking about and have a vision for what he's sharing. Um, and it's really simple, and it's about your eyes. And and the topic is I can see clearly now. Of course, that reminds you of the old song and a couple other songs that's out there. But Doc, people's vision's a big deal. I mean, you. You know, it's just a major big deal for him, and, uh, and I'm just, I think it's a fantastic topic today. And good morning, sir, and welcome to the call. Hey, welcome, and uh, thanks for having me on. You know, it's, uh, I, I enjoy these calls because every week people ask me questions. They, they ask me, you know, hey, what do you do about this? What do you do about that? And, and so, you know, I've been getting a lot of calls lately on, on vision, and people are concerned with it, macular degeneration, cataracts, night vision, things like that. And I thought, what a perfect topic to talk about. Well, it is a big deal, and it's a big deal to a lot of people. And, and one of the things that, um, you know, that, that it's one of the things that people are really interested in. And so you, you will get into several things that, that we can do. But, are there, but let me just ask you this to start off with. Are there things we can do that can really make a difference just all the way from diet to sunglasses, to, um, you know, just when your eyes are tired, that might mean you just simply need to rest them. I mean, where do you want to start with this? Well, I think that that's important. You know, like you said, I mean, in today's world, here I am, I'm sitting here, I'm holding my cell phone, and I, I've been on it all, all morning, and not, not talking on it, but reading, reading on my phone. You know, my computer is laying about an arm length away, and, and what am I doing? I'm using my cell phone to, to look up everything because I can hold it in my hand. <clears throat> so I'm having to squint and I'm having to, you know, look really hard at the print. And, and, you know, you can take your finger and you can enlarge the print, but uh, most time we don't do that. And, uh, and yes, yeah, so that, that does cause a lot of strain on your eyes. So like you said, I mean, that's probably one thing that we really need to tell people is, you know, take a break once in a while. Maybe grab a set of reading glasses if you're going to use your phone. So, you know, when you, and, and it's kind of interesting when I was in Australia, you know, things got just a little bit blurry and I had to do the first step on a little reading glasses from time to time. And then I would use them for three or four or five weeks and then six months, Doc, I wouldn't have to use them again. And then I'd go for four or five, six weeks and not have to use them again. And, uh, and lately I've been on about a six week stretch to where I've needed to use them. Here's a, just a crazy question to kind of start things off a little bit. What makes that eyesight kind of come and go? And, and I'm, you know, I'm age 55, so you kind of know, you already knew that already. Um, my dad had to wear glasses when he was early young, you know, in, in, his, in his career because he repaired and owned a, a thing called Modern Office Supply, which, which means he did manual typewriters back in the day. And you would go in, remember those old typewriters? You don't even see them anymore. But uh, yeah, he would have to fix all the little springs and, and keys and everything like that, and it required him to really see fine, fine print, so to speak. And, but what causes the coming and going? Yeah. Well, and I think that is is that it's it's just, you know, as you get older, the, the eyes tend to wear out and we don't have the right nutrition. <clears throat> so the coming and going is is really it's it's the wearing out. It's your body telling you, "Hey, something's going wrong here." And and most of us we just ignore it, you know. And uh, it'd be like driving down the road and and the oil light goes on your car and you just go, oh, that'll go out in a minute. It comes and goes. It comes on once in a while. And you just ignore it. Well, why do we do that with our body, DW? I think because we'll probably have a have a stupid attack and get stuck on stupid. That's why we ignore it. Um, you know, I, and I know that sounds kind of funny and, and maybe a little whatever, but people ignore it because the truth, they don't want to know. They're That's afraid right. of what they might find out. Well, think about this. I mean, Okay, we're talking about macular degeneration. Let's start with that, you know, as, as a good, good place to start, right? Macular degeneration, most common cause of blindness in the United States. Um, 
and the most common cause is triggered by, by dysglycemia or, or blood sugar problems, right? That's 80% of Americans, okay? So we're, 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 we're hitting um, a majority of the population by talking about it. And, and, and so um, as we look at it, what percentage or how many, how many people have trouble? What's the first kind of signs that you're getting it? Well, they have, they have a 4.3 time greater chance of, of, of having difficulty with night driving, night vision. You're going down the road and, and the, the glare of the oncoming traffic uh, temporarily blinds you, right? That's a sign that you might have age-related macular degeneration. And, and age-related, I mean, I, it could be older, but it could be that you're just you're, you're developing that because blood sugar problems, type 2 diabetes was considered to be an older person disease, but now we're seeing it in, in teenagers and 20-year-olds, right? And, uh, and, and they have a five-fold more likely chance of having problems with near vision where they can't read things up close, and they have a 2.7 times of having difficulty with, with uh, glare, you know, like from lights and things like that, compared to people of the same age with normal retina health. So if you're going to a restaurant and you're sitting there and, and you and you and you and, and Helen um, are sitting, you got the same glare from the sun hitting down on the menu, but you can't read it and she can, you know, granted she's she's probably quite a bit younger than you because you're, you're an old guy like me. <laughs> but... <laughs> But, but, but the thing about it is, is that if you have trouble with glare, then you got to start thinking, am I having a problem with my macular, uh, with the macular degeneration? And, uh, and, and you know, it, you, you could well be. Well, that's interesting. Now, the glare doesn't bother me, and I can see, and this is kind of interesting. I didn't want me to be the topic here, but I can see extraordinarily well in the dark. Um, actually, just even a little bit of light in the dark, uh, you know, whatever. It, it, I can, it just, I can see in the dark really good. But a lot of, a lot of folks are having challenges now. The day glare from time to time, will might get me just a little bit. Um, of course, you live in obviously, you know, we live in Colorado, so you're closer to the sun. You got to really take care of your eyes at a different level. Um, so that, you know, that comes into play, and, and people need to realize what I'm talking about is is what the atmosphere is around you. What are the conditions that you're around? Some people are working in, 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 in places to where they are in front of the computers all the time, you know? And so their yeah. eyes are getting stressed. And, um, and as they get older, they have to have things brighter because they, you know, uh, those kind of things, which are indicators as well. Well, and I was just, I was just, you know, looking at a lot, I was looking at numbers. I'm a numbers guy. I like to look at it, but, you know, but um, they said that over 40% of people have difficulty with glare, um, and, and it indicates that, that they're um, maybe heading down the road to having cataract surgeries. So when you say that you have problems with glare, you know, um, that, that's something that you might want to look at. And then so as we talk about what sure. can you do about cataracts, what can you do about macular degeneration, Pay attention to those, and for those of you listening to the call, those of you that are listening to the recording, you know, pay attention to those things, and there really are some things that you can do with it. Well, and it, it's all the way from from getting support with what we're doing with Sizzle Plus Diet as well. How much does eating a lot of greens or even our green sizzle shake come into play with, um, you know, with sugar levels and with, you know, with the, uh, 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 with the eyes? Yeah, well... I was just talking to a to a, a gal out of Omaha uh, right away this morning, eight o'clock this morning. She she um, was asking me about sugar levels and what she can do and things like that. But yeah, that uh, sugar uh, uh, dysglycemia is, is again the most common cause of macular degeneration, and so you want to you want to watch that. And that's eighty percent of the population in the United States has a problem with it, and and so we want to watch that and. And we want to bump up the, the magnesium levels. They said uh, on the study that I was reading this morning that I, I reported to her was that you want to um, you want to bump your magnesium levels up to uh, 200 milligrams a day minimum, and then you want to you want to bump up your your chromium levels um, to 150 micrograms. And they they saw that that they could uh, really uh, help uh, lower lower the problems with uh, with blood sugars and and the uh, insulin uh, resistance um, would all improve when you had the magnesium and the chromium together. Well, that makes totally total sense, you know. Um, 
what you're doing. So the, the, the greens will up that. One of the things that's going to up your magnesium and, and that you're referring to, at one of our products is our Encompass 360 as well. It's got perfect doses in there. And I believe our, our Balance D does as well. Um, yeah, and, and 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 when you start looking at at the you know at the at the vision and things like that, um, the dark green vegetables, the spinach, um, the dark green leafy vegetables, kale, um, really really good for for vision. And I just I just uh, put on um, on uh, Facebook I said that if you have high levels of, of vitamin E, um, they can really help out with uh, vision problems as well. And it, it, it slows down the, the degeneration of the, of the eye. Let's jump into the words you mentioned earlier um, on an earlier call that we was on today, uh, if you can, if you want to. Uh, it, it's a derivative from, from green plants, and it's xanthian or something. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Xanthian. Xanthian. Yeah, that's how I would pronounce it. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. There and there's there's a couple different forms of it. It's a uh, zeaxanthin, and then there's astaxanthin, and then there's mesoxanthin as well. And they all they all come from from your um, from your fruit your vegetables. Yeah. So we'll get uh, we'll get that within our um, you know uh, obviously when you begin to look at what our um, you know Spectramax has has as well along with the. Some of the things that are, I, I'm curious to see if it's in our Compass 360. I haven't, I haven't looked at that yet. Well, the, vi the Vital right Vision is, is where we really have these ingredients, the Vital Vision. <laughs> so we do the extra supplements that people are naturally doing, and so the Vital Vision comes along as, as what, something that pushes everything over the edge, or, or what, what are you saying there? You bet. So it's got, it's got the lutein, right? We've all heard all, how good lutein is, and, and I remember – uh, how many years ago it was I'm trying to think back um, my son went with me he was uh, he was um, 12 at the time and we went to a nutritional seminar and and so that was that was 13 years ago I remember going to the seminar and and it was the the gentleman who uh, helped formulate uh, centrum and 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 he he had his uh, upper end nutritional products that he sold and then he had his, his lower end nutritional products, which um, that's where Centrum fell. And uh, and when Centrum came out with their Centrum Silver, you know, it was it was look at this Centrum Silver. It's great for people. Look, it's got lutein in it. And uh, and he he said that in order to get enough lutein from um, Centrum, and and again, this isn't me saying it. This is the guy that that helped uh, formulate the product. He said that he said you had to actually take. 30 centrums to get enough lutein to actually make a difference for your vision. Isn't that wow. crazy, DW? You had, you had you had dang your take the whole bottle just to get enough to make a difference. So what do these guys do that? What do they create a product that has enough to say we have it in it, but not enough to do any good? I mean, is that to me that, and I don't mean to be mean here, but it just reeks of a little scammy thing to me or, or just, I don't know, just not very smart. Yeah, it should it should be labeled as fraudulent and 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 that, but you know, <laughs> okay, uh, there you go. <laughs> but 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 they but they they don't, you know, and they're allowed to do it. It's like Tom says, you know, you take a chicken, you wave it over a pot of boiling water, and you call it chicken soup. I mean, that that's what they're allowed to do. Um, I remember hearing way back twenty, maybe thirty years ago, when I first got into practice, uh, they that the, the, there was a company in Minneapolis. It was run by a a group of uh, big businessmen and some some pharmaceutical people, and what they would do is they would go around to all of the nutritional companies, um, and they would buy out their their um, out of date stock. You know, so if you had some vitamins that were that were nearing the expiration date, they would buy that from you. And then what they would do is they would they would mix all of these products into uh, like a big mixer. They would you know empty them out of little capsules. They would grind them up the pills and everything. They'd mix everything into one deal. And then, and then they'd, they'd put different food colorings in them, and they'd say, oh, this is vitamin C. They'd say this one is B vitamin. They'd say this one is, is this, this one's that. And, and, and really it was, all the, it was all kind of the same crap all mixed together, and they didn't care what it was. And, and so when they were called out on the carpet on it, you know, I mean, it was, it was the opinion of these business guys and these, these pharmaceutical people. They said, they said, well, it really doesn't matter. Those products don't work anyhow, so we just thought we'd make some money doing it as well. And that was their answer. It's like, 
you know, that's what a lot of companies do is they really don't give you what you need. Um, they tell you on the bottle, oh, here's what's in here. And uh, New York, the New York uh, State Attorney General's office found that with some products, you know, a couple of years ago. And it was reported all over the news and Facebook and all of that. But um, the thing about it is, is that you really got to know what's in your product. But I think sometimes, importantly, you want to know what's not in your product because, I mean, they might, they might put some um, zeal, uh, xanathan in there, but at the same time, what else did they put in there? You know, and, and uh, we look at, we look at, we look at um, um, vitamin A, right? We talk about vitamin A being so important for your eyes. You know, I remember when I was a kid, you know, mom would say, uh, eat your carrots. It's got vitamin A. It's good for your vision, right? And, and um which, uh, D.W., you know which vitamins are fat-soluble? Um, I will once you tell me. <laughs> vitamins A, D, E, and K, right? Vitamins A, D, E, and K. Well, that's, and, what, I had on my, that's what I had on my paper here. That's what you had written. I knew you had that written <laughs> on your four fingers, A, D, E, and K, and because uh, that's the nicknames for your fingers. But, um, but the thing about it is, is that if, 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 if those vitamins are fat-soluble, and so are most toxins, right? Most toxins are fat soluble. What's the definition of a toxin? Well, a toxin interferes with the normal metabolism of, of your nutrition, right? And if so, so if um, if most toxins are fat soluble, and so are A, D, E, and K, guess what? The toxicity is going to interfere with your vitamin A, and it's going to make it so it's going to cause problems with vision. That makes sense. That's interesting, actually. Very interesting. Yeah, so, so, so most people wouldn't think, oh, Body Shield, great product for the, for the vision, right? I mean, would you ever, would you ever, when somebody's talking about vision, would, would you say, oh, Body Shield is probably one of the most important? Um, no, sir, I would not, but I will now. Yeah, because, because it pulls the toxins out of the way, the heavy metals and the toxins that block your body from using uh, vitamin A. And, and vitamin A, lack of vitamin A is going to cause you to start having symptoms of, of night blindness and things like that. And, uh, and so, so uh, that, that's important. You know, the, the super omegas, super omegas are, are so, so important because, you know, if, if, you're, if your um, arteries start to get plugged up with, with, with uh, um, uh, the, the, the uh, placking, right, you're going to start having problems. So how do you prevent plaque? Well, you, you, increase your, you increase your levels of the, of the good fats, the omegas, the omega-3s, right? And, and if you do that, you're going to have less plaque, and those little tiny arteries that come off the circle of Willis in your brain, um, they, they get plugged quite easily. And, and, and I've had just this year, I mean, here it is, it's just the first part of June, middle part of June, and I've already had three people uh, contact me and tell me that they've, that they've had strokes in their eye. One of my one of my good friends up here. He's uh, he's uh, 51 years old. Um, he can barely see out of his right eye because he he had a stroke in his eye. Wow, Doc, that's un that's unbelievable. How does right? that happen? Well, because just like having a stroke or a heart attack, a pra a plaque breaks loose somewhere and it plugs the artery going to your vision. Makes sense, right? And, yeah, and so now, now, now he's having to. I mean, he's having to learn to do everything uh, with his left eye, you know. And, and I mean, he's out there. He's driving a motorcycle. He's he's uh, working at a at a factory. And, and I said, it's not even really safe for you to work at that factory. I mean, you're you're counting on one eye. And if you had a stroke in one eye, what's what's going to prevent you from having a stroke in the other eye? And I mean, you're running some some big heavy equipment there. And uh, and it's it's pretty dangerous. But he went to the doctor and they said, "Oh no, you're fine. Go back to work." Wow. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. It is. It is. And 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 so when we started looking at, you know, we, we threw this word out there, uh, zeaxanthin, right? Z e a x a n t h i n, right? I mean, you look at the word, and most people, they go, they look at it and they go, uh, yeah, Z, uh, and then they quit at that point. And, uh, and they just go, yeah, that's good for you. And, uh, but, but what does it actually do? 
is that they protect your eyes. These are natural pigments that are found in your eye. And what they do is they protect your, your, your retinal cells from um, degeneration from age, but they also protect your eyes from, um, from the, the uh, uh, bad UV rays. Because, you know, I mean, there's, there's, there's bad um, light rays out there, and if you can protect it, that's what, that's what these, these macular carotenoids, that's what they do. So when you hear somebody say lutein or, or when you go out this afternoon, because I know you're going to say this word 100 times today, D.W., you're going to say zeoxanthothin. Yeah, right? zeoxanthothin. 100 times today. It. you got to say that. Zeoxanthothin. We'll practice later. Yeah, and, and peop, people are going to say, well, what are you talking about? You say, well, that's an ingredient that what it does, it protects your eyes from, from, from oxidation. It protects your eyes from, from the bad rays of the sun and from lights and things like that. And it's going to help prevent you from having uh, problems with macular degeneration and cataracts and, and night blindness and all those good things. And that's the main ingredient in our, our vital vision. That's one of our main ingredients in the vital vision. You got that right. And that's what makes it so, so it works so well. And it's going to, you know, like you were talking about the, that, that what they call the photo stress, right? And, and so, so photo stress recovery, that's really how quickly do your retinal cells recover from the intense exposure of, of light, from bright lights, like from your phones or your, your computers and things like that. And so photo stress recovery. And then, you know, the, the, the help with the, with the, the, the glare and, and to help with the, with the macular degeneration, those things are all really good with that, the macular carotenoids. Macular carotenoids. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like how you say that. <laughs> I'm writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> but just remember, photo stress recovery, because you were saying earlier, why do my eyes, they, they seem like they get, they get blurry, and then, it, then I wait a while, and, they, and their vision comes back, and then it gets blurry again, and then it comes back. And that's what we call photo stress recovery. Right, and so now you can go out there and you can sound really smart today. You can say, "Hey, you know, as you're sitting there looking at your phone, you can talk to somebody at the coffee shop." As you're as you're working on your phone, do you ever have photo stress problems? And they're going to look at you. Are you some kind of doctor, or scientist, or what? Well, you know they do. If they're looking at their computer and playing games on their phone and all that junk and that brightness is hitting their eyes and yada yada yada, at some point they're going to have a train wreck. And um, you know, if they haven't already had one. And you're going to be there to uh, pick up the pieces, right? And so, so you know, here we are getting to the bottom of the hour, and we got to talk about you know, okay, so we've talked about the different problems and and the cataracts and the, and the macular degeneration and night blindness and different things like that, near blindness or near nearsightedness and, and 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 all these different things. What can you do about it? What can you do about it? So they, they did a study, and they took and they took people, and they, they divided them into different groups, and they took a placebo, and they took lutein, and they took the um, lutein plus uh, the zeoxanthin. And what they found is that after one year of taking these products, and they measured before they started taking the supplements, and they found that the macular pigment optical density, which is the measure of how protective the macular pigment was uh, present, they found that it increased significantly in, in all groups that took the, the carotenoids, the one with the lutein and the zeoxanthin. And, uh, and they found that the, uh, the photo stress recovery time and the disability glare thresholds also improved significantly from when they first started. So, so I mean, there you got a product that, I mean, if you're using your cell phone as your computer, you need vital vision every day. Well, that's amazing. I am just telling you, it is, um, you know, that's, you know, you, you talk about the photo stress recovery and have an, have an opportunity. I was going to ask you something earlier. You take your buddy that you were talking to and that had the, um, you know, the stroke in the eye where that stroke was isolated to one small little spot, which is interesting. Um, with that said, can vital vision or, or what is, is, once you go to that, we're talking a lot with Ray about preventiveness and preventing things. So vital vision would be a great preventer from something like that to possibly, not a guarantee, but to, uh, a possible solution to help support, uh, you know, some of the challenges. Yeah. Well, and in his case, I mean, I really got to say this. I mean, um, he's a type 1 diabetic. He's been on an insulin pump since he was oh, okay. 10 years old. 
Yeah, and he's 50, he's 51, maybe 52 years old. And, uh, and, and so he's been on an insulin pump, um, you know, most of his life. And, and so, and he doesn't take care of himself. He smokes, he drinks, he doesn't eat right. And, uh, and he just, he, he's dependent on that insulin pump. You know, we go, we go out to have something to eat. First thing he does is he looks at the insulin pump and then he, he figures he can eat whatever he wants. And, and I just tell him, I said, man, that's not the way to do it. You should be looking at what do you do to prevent it so that you don't have to touch that insulin pump. But, uh, yeah, so, so in his case, what I tell him is that the most important thing that he should have done, and if he wants to prevent from having a, 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 a stroke in his other eye, he better start looking at what can he do to keep his blood sugar levels under control. And again, you know, we start looking at, at things like the, like the Super Omega. We start looking at, at the, um, at the Sizzaline. We start looking at, at, at the, uh, Fucoidin, um, uh, the Super Omegas all those different uh, good things that, that can help lower your risk of, of having a stroke and keeping your blood sugar levels under control. And, and, and that's, that's really what he needs to do. But, you know, sometimes, you know, like, like I, was, I, was, uh, I was thinking about yesterday, um, I planted some grass seed and there's some rocks out here and, uh, and, and I can take and I can put water on the grass and the grass grows but the rocks don't do anything. And sometimes talking to people is like throwing water on a rock and expecting it to grow. Well, that's the truth. I mean, sometimes you throw your, your your good stuff on good soil, and sometimes you throw it on thorny soil or rocky soil or or by the wayside where it gets trampled. But, uh, you know, when, when you're looking at this and people want to make a decision, you're, you're talking about the couple, two products to attack it, and I'm going to throw three of them out that you've mentioned. VitaShield's number one. That's done. And then it's between um, Body Shield Omega Plus. Um, and even then, compass, but body shield and omega plus. If people are on a little bit of a budget, which would which two of those would you recommend? Um, boy, I mean, it, I, I, it depends on what the, what their lifestyle is. Like, if 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 you're uh, uh, someone that works in a factory, like my buddy does, where he's a welder, um, I'd say the body shield would probably be the next most important one because it's going to pull out all those toxins that he's exposed to. His from, environment, uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, from the environment, yeah. So it depends on, on what you're doing. It depends on your family history. It depends on your certain circumstances. I mean, even we start looking at, at grapeseed extract, you know, as, as, as a powerful antioxidant. We start looking at resveratrol, you know, like what's in our eternity. Uh, uh, you know, there's so many things. There's so many things. I mean, really, in my opinion, DW, is that everybody needs everything we have. And this, you know, this I agree. Product, I, I, yeah. Yeah, and it, it, Tom's talking about this new product that's coming out. You know, this this uh, age pill, right? And it, and and when you talk about age pill, um, you know, a lot of people look at that and they go, they, they you know, they think that we're talking about um, um, maybe maybe some crazy science or things like that. But but think about age. What does age actually stands for? It's an acronym. Um, it's an acronym for um, uh, ex, ex, advanced glycation end product. That's the acronym that, that Tom's talking about when he talks about age pill, advanced glycation end product, right? And what's that? That's when, when your, your sugar levels are causing cellular damage. They're causing glycation. They're causing damage to the cells. And so what, the, what they've discovered, what, what Tom's really taken is he's taken this science where they showed that they can, they can take and they can reverse the damage that's been done to the cells which is going to take, it's going to clean up the cell, it's going to make the mitochondria so it can work better, it's going to make the stem cells, so the stem cells are going to look um, almost identical to younger stem cells. I mean, in, in, in two weeks to two months, in all the studies that I've been reading about, um, using these ingredients, you can, you, can, you can return a stem cell to look like a younger stem cell, 10 to 20 years younger. Than what your than what your age is, and what's that going to do for for people that have uh, problems with with uh, blood sugar, like like my buddy Ed? You know, I mean, crazy stuff. Well, that is interesting on the on the stem cell. I mean, that's that's great research. Yeah, it's not a hokey pokey thing he's coming out with or snake oil. You know, there's some real science behind what's going on here, and has been going on for quite a while. So we're going to help someone with the ice. And, um, and and I'm just kind of imagining, obviously, the vital sh vital shield and uh, a vital vision, vision, excuse me, and then the body shield along with that. You know, definitely the omega pluses, the encompass triangle of life. I mean, if somebody really wants to prevent and 
and uh, give their their self some strength, some you know, re restore some strength, or what it. What's the word that you used, you know, uh, photo stress recovery, give your best chance to help support recovery. That sounds like, sounds like something that we're looking at there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and everything that we have, I mean, the, the fatty acids, the omega-3s. The omega I mean, if, if, you, if you're looking at a budget, man, I'll tell you what, go out, go out and buy some eggs. I just bought a carton of eggs the other day for 79 cents. 79 cents. I got 12 eggs. And, uh, and, and uh, um, uh, if, you, if you take, and what I do is when I mix up my sizzling, I throw a raw egg yolk in there, right? Mm -hmm. and, I, I, and, and I'll mix that into my, into my sizzling shake. I'm getting some, some good um, omegas in there. I'm getting some good fats. I, I increased, I boost the, the power of my sizzling by doing that, right? And, and it's 79 cents. I mean, my gosh, I mean, there, there, there you go. That's, that's two weeks supply um, if, you, if you do one egg yolk a day, right? And, uh, and, 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 and buy some spinach. Spinach is really good. I mean, you're gonna, there's lots of really, really good um, nutrients in spinach and kale. Um, it's, it's summertime. These vegetables are on the market. I mean, they'll be on the market right now. And start buying this stuff, and, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you, you, can, you can budget at that. And you can make it so that you're going to have uh, better vision by, by eating those foods. And you've got to eat anyhow. Why not, why not eat healthy food? And then, and then pick up some, some omegas. I mean, pick up the, the Super Omega Plus. It's, it's the m most potent product that I've, that I've seen on the market as far as omegas. It's got the CoQ10 in it. And, and so many people, I mean, the drug companies are, are pushing us to, to take statin drugs. I mean, like I reported on, 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 on Facebook the other day, um, the drug companies, they, they want every single person on the planet taking a statin drug. And statin drugs um, block, block your, your body from um, being able to utilize CoQ10. All the more reason that we want to take a product like Super Omega Plus because it's loaded up with the CoQ10. And, uh, and, and again, like we were talking about, I mean, you gotta have, you gotta have the blood supply um, going to the eyes. If you don't have proper blood supply, you're you're not going to have good vision, and uh, and and if you're if you're damaging if you're damaging your eyes from um, from the bad UV rays and you're getting that that glare problem, the glare disability that we we're talking about, that's where that's where the zeaxanthin um, comes in, the lutein, and and that's what's in the the Vital Vision product, and 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 so those are things you want to look at. But you know, DW, I just say this. Look. Um, People will say, well, what product do I really need? And, I mean, what do you really need? Well, you need them all. Yep. And they look at me and they go, well, how much is that going to cost? And I, 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 I look at them and I say, you know, uh, aren't you worth it? I mean, what if it costs $1,000 a month, right? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And if they say, well, I can't do that, um, you, you got you to say, look, I mean, you need to do that. You need to do that. And what you do is you just go out and share this with everybody because – Everybody needs these products, and everybody you know starts taking them. Then the company's going to pay you to take the products, and and then you can take them all, and you can take double the dose for free. Well, I mean, it's absolutely amazing, and, and you're right. People do need what we're talking about here. I mean, it, it, the real real question is this, and and we'll we'll close with this thought: What are your eyes, or even AI? What's it worth to you? Is it worth a few bucks a month to prevent you from? from uh, uh, you know, supporting and protecting your vision, you better believe it is. And so it's not a, it's not a question of what it's worth. It's a question with you know, how you're gonna, how you're gonna get these products into your system. And building a distribution system with us as well um, is something that can really be a benefit to everybody that's, that's hearing this call. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. And, I mean, and, and then like, like we talked about, you'll be able to see pretty clearly that way. <laughs> I, I, I sent you that song today. That's kind of fun, Doc. We appreciate you so much. Love, love the fact that you, you've got common sense, uh, a plethora of, of brain power, and you've got a beautiful heart. And we just those that combination, honestly, truly makes you an exceptional doctor because you. The truth is, you actually really care, and um, and it's hard to find people who care out there on this planet. Well. We found you. God's blessed us with you, and we thank you for all that you bring to the table. What a great call, everybody. Remember, this is the doctor's clinic where the world is your waiting room. Take this call to a few people in that waiting room and let them listen and, and find out if their eyes matter or not. Doc, thanks for being part of the call today. 
Thanks, DW. Thanks, everyone.